Okay, right. Good evening, everyone. This is Han here from Sony Malaysia. <laughs> okay, so uh, I thought tonight actually actually want to do a recap session of what actually share was uh, from yesterday. Uh, uh, Apologies again because I actually uh, due to the my computer technical inform uh, technical difficulties and also uh, the internet wasn't that well. So add up together the experience on the sharing that time wasn't really uh, that smooth. So today actually I will go through some of the key features on the Zekvi one again. And uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning this video again and uh, also feel free to share to your friends and family and also people that are actually interested about this uh, camera, you can actually share to them. So yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go through it. Okay, so before I start, uh, actually currently we're still having the pre-order. So if you do interested to pre-order and then we have our, um, actually we have our own uh, Sony Malaysia flagship store on Lazada. If you have a, do have a Lazada account, okay, actually you can go and check it out. So let me bring up the browser right here. Uh, so right there. So again, this is our <laughs> Sony Malaysia page right there. So you can actually feel free to visit there to see all the information. But again, I'm just going to bring up the Lazada for now. So this one, you can just type Lazada. I mean, go to the Lazada page. Okay, then go inside there, right in there. Then from there, uh, just need to go to the Lazada mall. Just go to Lazada mall. And then for when then after that, you just key in Sony. So you as soon as you are key in, you see a Sony flagship store. That's our Sony Malaysia flagship store. So it's a direct pre-order from us. And then uh, under that, you just go in. You can see all the latest goodies right here, right here. So there's a pre-order right now going on. You just need to go in and click on it and, and get all the information. And one more thing is actually, uh, if you do interested to test out the camera, we have a, a like a demo set that is going to be delivered to our Sony store. The curve in in, come, in upcoming uh, next weekend, so for Saturday and sun, Sunday. So you just type Sony store the curve. You will see the address right there. So that's the one there. We are actually in the Curve shopping mall and then in Putera Damansara PJ Slango. So you just uh, feel free to tune in next weekend in uh, in the Curve to actually check out this camera. All right. Okay, so uh, again, thanks for tuning uh, for because it was a bit bad experience due to the technical issues. All right, so today back to again uh, about the Zekvi one. Uh, okay, for the technical point of view, for the technical point of view, you can actually, I mean, uh, you can see through all the information right here. Already. So uh, just a bit of highlight here. So this camera right there, it's actually in front of me right there. This one uses a uh, one inch sensor, one inch sensor is actually a very popular sensor for this like a compact uh, size and also the sensor that actually is bigger than the smartphone. So uh, smartphone usually has uh, uh, I think about half the size of this this uh, this sensor right there or maybe even smaller. So in actually in photography view or in camera view when you take a photo, it's not about the pixel that how much on the sensor or oh, sorry, it's like not about how much pixel you can get out of the picture. At the end of the day, you still need a bigger sensor to create nicer picture. So uh, like I said before, bigger sensor equals to better picture. Not necessarily uh, like a, so sensor is actually, <laughs> what is it? So every every camera inside, every camera inside that has a heart. The heart inside is a, like a sensor. So the, the, the size of the sensor is actually bigger than smartphone. So that's why you can see how well this one capture nice quality video and photo. So later I will have some demonstration you can see through there. So, okay, who is this camera for? Okay, this camera right there. So this one actually, uh, it can build for anyone who actually who is actually having a smartphone right now. And then uh, after that, you once you have your smartphone, uh, I know smartphone right now is actually quite good. It can, has all the features and easy to bring around. But you might find that okay, uh, there's something more you want to do. And then the that the, there's also some technical limitation on what smartphone can do. Like I said before, the sensor. So if I bring up the camera, let's say I power on the camera right now, and you can see how big the lens is there, and then you can also imagine how big the sensor behind it. Because on the phones, if you flip around, you can see the lens there, and also you can imagine how big the sensor inside. Just an example comparison. Okay, so this is a very nice, uh, small, compact camera you can actually bring around. So actually, I'm, right now I'm holding with the grip, which is a VCT dash SGR one. This one doesn't come together in a box, but you need to uh, uh, do a. Uh, additional purchase but this one right now we're actually having a pre-order so you can actually buy together something like that so uh, again this is a one-inch sensor and it packed with a nice 2470 Zeiss lens so a bit technical here but mainly it's just to show you it's uh, enough coverages enough usage coverages for most of the daily usage because 2470 is a very uh, well used focal length for everyday use and after that this one has a neat, our first ever flippy screen right there this one the flippy screen so yeah it used to be we have a top 
top up one. Right now, this is the one you can flip like this. So it's actually easier for you to have multiple angles to adjust. You can do many, many adjustments. And then you can have like uh, this one like that. So if I, if, if, you're, if you, let's say if you are re recording and you're looking at it and you have this, yeah, so it's become really friendly. And on top, uh, last time because the, the camera is actually on top. So if some people want to do, put some, uh, you know, mic or whatever it is, then it's actually block the view. So this one going sideways is going to be very handy. Yeah, so you can see it's a, so this thing weigh about 200 gram is very lightweight. So you can see on the on the spec itself here, if I bring out the spec, so it packs a one inch sensor and then the 4K recording is yeah, this one can record up to 4K and then the three capsule mic. So on the top here, uh, right there, you can see if I just gonna bring up my transition right there. So yeah, on top of here, this part here, the this middle part is the mic. So that's where it has the three capsule on top right there. And then of course, as you have a big record button for the first time, you have a very big record button. Okay, very handy right there. This used to be on the on the side way. Some people might find it awkward. So yeah, so it's actually on top there. And then on top, you have all the you know the shutter button, the zoom rocker here, and then also there's uh, what do you call this? The mode button for you to change different mode. Okay, let me just put this back for now. Okay. So, okay, then I'm back to this one. Then you can see that's the size and uh, yeah, stuff like that. And this one weighs about, I think camera by itself about 290-ish, 200 gram. It's not too heavy. Very easy to build around, uh, to bring around view and very handy. Yeah, stuff like that. So, okay. So, okay, you can see this big, big. <laughs> so, that one actually designed for casual videography with selfie-friendly, very angled LCD screen. That's what it means just now. And then body grip and the recording lamp. So, ah, uh, yeah, because the, the camera has a dedicated recording lamp in the front. So if I do bring up <laughs> this part here, you can see if I start recording, then there's a, there's a light comes up. So actually it tells you the camera actually recording video. So last time usually camera, they don't really have the dedicated lamp in the front to tell you actually doing video, video recording. So in case of you do video recording, hey, oh, see, oh, this is actually recorded right currently but sometimes if you uh, last time it's because they don't have this uh, but uh, this light here so people are like, okay is it recording maybe you need to flip to the back and check again so this one becomes handy that's why it's good for casual user you know everyone and then guys the regulation comes right with the pack with the voice clarity yeah the sound especially less wind noise i have a demonstration later to show you so okay another thing is the big thing the bokeh switch which is right there there's a bokeh switch Okay, and also on the, at the bottom there, this button here is a product showcase setting. Again, I will do the demonstration later. <laughs> so yeah, so everything become very interesting and with minimum effort that actually can use this together. So uh, yeah, so you can actually go through this and there's the, all the information right there. You can actually uh, very easily find. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can see right there. Okay, then the, so okay. Like I said before, because currently there's a growing trend in terms of uh, people using a uh, smartphone, okay, to take short clips. Because sometimes when you take a photo, it does not, uh, how to say, sometimes when you take a photo, it does not give you the, how does, uh, the emotion uh, impact into the pictures. Because photo is a still, although it's sometimes it can get nice pictures, but video involved into it, and some of it sound, it gets the emotional touch. So this is actually a very nice camera for, if you want to do some short, clip like a 15 second uh, that's the max you don't want to do too long and then transfer to your phone and then easily you can use it to transfer to your facebook instagram whatsapp uh, any social media that is actually supported and because usually because the, <laughs> the camera here is output the normal standard mp4 file so you use on all across any media devices no issues so many is that this one is very easy to bring around to capture the thing that you want and share the moment that you really want and because it's a very small compact and it's a big upgrade for smartphone user because it has all the bells and whistles, the, the high-end technology from the top end, like our big alpha body and always and packed into this tiny devices here. It has all the a lot of features. So this is like a very powerful <laughs> camera right there and also dedicated video for casual user, like user, let's say smartphone user. So, okay, how easy? Very easy. So for a starter, don't worry, once you turn on the camera and then what you need to do is there's a mode here so it's just simply you can use actually you can see right there so what i'm setting here okay right now i set to the uh, video mode is in i auto uh, which is the uh, intelligent auto for video mode but if you want to take photo of course you can go to the green button there's, there's a green button right there is to uh, give you the 
uh, auto sorry i give the computer will control everything for you it's all you need to do is you just need to press and snap the photo because like this camera is really dedicated for uh, all the smartphone user and they want to find an easy a similar experience to actually try this camera something like that okay so yeah <laughs> lots of stuff going on <laughs> Okay, so that's a bit of a spec going on and there's the sharing and then with this grip right there and Okay, why don't I just gonna do a demonstration right here and I'm gonna hook up my uh, These devices here to the to the source and then so you can actually see what is happening going on So you can see there's a HDMI cable right here. Oops <laughs> There's a HDMI cable right here to so allow me to actually hook up to the camera So just uh, this one on the side here. It has the micro HDMI port. I just need to open up and then I just need to plug this in. Okay, so I can flip this around so I can let, let myself to see and then I just turn it on for now. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it put it right there on the on the on the okay, and I'm gonna switch the channel. Yeah, so very quickly you can you should be able to see myself. Oops. <laughs> right, so you can see I'm right there. Okay, so you can see right now the camera picking up my face very well. <laughs> Okay, let me just switch. Okay, yeah, and this is the view you can see because right now this is in photo. Uh, you see, if, if you see the green, the green button is actually right now is in, in uh, the camera knows a portrait, but photo is actually the, like a square format. So if I switch to the video uh, right there, and I can just press the mode because you can see just how it's in photo. I go to video for now, go inside there, right there. Okay, so you can, as soon as you uh, pop, pop it down, you can see how the camera actually tracking my eyeball. So you can see how it track. Okay, so everything here is adjusted fully automatic. I didn't do any adjustments to the camera. So the, the camera picks up my face and brightness and it just do its own calculation. So you can see a lot of stuff going on at the back there. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cycle through. Let's just give you, give you a bit cleaner look. Okay, good. Right, so you can see it pick up. So, okay, that's like I said before, there's a, uh, okay, there's a dedicated uh, background defocus button. So right now, if I press this button, it can tell you right now, actually it's already defocused because it's like actually at one point before, but don't worry. <laughs> if I press again, you can see how the background become clearer. So the background become clearer. And then if I do one more time, then the background is blur. So by pressing just one button to give you the nice depth of view. So the background become blur because of the depth of view of the, this part here and then background is blur. So this one is very easy for, uh, yeah, the camera will just do its own thing for you. Because usually in those days, with even from a mirrorless camera like this one this is a mirrorless camera that you need to adjust the setting in order to achieve this effect but right now this one has a dedicated uh, sorry a dedicated button for you to press and for you to get this kind of look yeah very simple so i'm just going to bring out a video uh, with the background defocus button that i actually did a uh, test before with this camera right uh, down there in my apartment not apartment it's like a condominium and then there's an area where i actually just do some testing okay <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it helps a bit. Okay, so this is the one right there, and I'm just gonna bring, uh, just gonna bring up. Okay, so this is the background defocus. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna do another test here, and actually I'm hand holding right now with my hand, bare hand, nothing. There's no grip or anything. Just this is my arm length. Okay, so uh, what I want to test is actually the background defocus button. So actually on the top right corner but, uh, of the camera, there's actually there's a button for you to press it, and then to make the background blur or clear. So right now it's actually clear. Uh, someone actually playing some tennis right there, but doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just gonna press some defocus. Okay, so the background should look a bit blurry right now. So to make myself stand out from the background, so it looks it looks interesting in the video. All right, so to press again, then you can see the clear. So right now it's everything clear. So it depends on the location you want to go, and you might want to show some of the back, the scene behind more. You can just simply press the button on and off. And again, one more thing is actually right now I'm actually shooting in eye auto. I mean. Let, it, let the camera do the job. I didn't do any setting in the camera. So I just uh, press auto in the camera and then press the button to record and also press the button for background blur or clear. Let's bring up. Okay, so you can see how how effective the background defocus 
and you can see how the background just blur away just with one press and then the camera is actually in auto you're doing any you're doing i mean i set the camera into auto and then uh, just let the camera do its job to do the recording and just press the button on and off on and off to do the you want to have a clear background or you want to have a blur background it's up to you because it's actually good a good usage for let's say if you're going for some uh places that you want to show a lot of detail of the background just please press the button at the back to have a clear so it gives you a very nice clean images from the whole plane like a whole background and if you want to have more yourself to stand out from the background simply press the button and your background become uh, like a blurry so it gives you like a bit of pops like a separation so it makes you stand apart from the like a background something like that so another thing i want to say is that uh because uh just how you see all this effect is all actually generated from the lenses and also the sensor combination in physics to create the pictures so nothing here is simulated or software processing because what what happened is that a lot of the smartphone smartphone because they're having a smaller sensor and also a smaller lens and the smaller aperture maybe and also mainly it's a smaller sensor because uh, for this smaller sensor point of view they have to use a lot of software algorithm in the camera so in the phone camera apps and all of processing part a lot of processing software processing to create the nice separation but again if you see closely they always have a fine line they don't really actually uh, have to give you a nice smooth transition it's actually a fine line it's like a basically like a uh, it looks like a photoshop kind in a way because it's not really physically if you actually try this actually you can experience so it's very nice so here is has a output quality last but not least that uh when you uh yeah so you can see this uh, following my eyeball yeah so that's the uh, uh how i say the uh, one punch uh, button the focus setting right there yeah simple as that and right now it's just saying auto so uh yeah okay let me just gonna bring up this part right there okay so okay <laughs> just uh, i also want to i forgot to mention one thing this camera actually can record video in vertically or you take uh so what happened is the camera wants to be recorded and because there's a gyroscope in the camera that knows the orientation of the of the uh, of the camera and in, it will capture the data save into the uh the metadata in the file of the video file and then if your phone support this uh most of the new smartphones support and it will knows that oh this camera actually when it took the video in or uh, in vertical orientation so when you play back in the phone it become oriented uh, orientation so let's say if i do bring up uh, like a video right here i'm just going to quickly bring up a video so you will see that it's actually in the uh, orient, uh, vertical orientation right there so you can see this a video right there i'm playing <laughs> let me just going to bring up this one <laughs> so you can see right now everything is in vertical orientation i'm pouring some water and some uh yeah stuff like that oops the camera actually take out my eyeball <laughs> yeah so you get the idea uh the the vertical thing okay let me just gonna bring uh bring up the video so you know what it is just now <laughs> okay so uh is this one right here okay so you can Ooh, see my skin looks bright oops now make some coffee. uh let me let me go back to the size again <laughs> because the okay okay let me just do transform and fit into screen because it's actually a very long width i didn't forgot to do the trans uh, transition i mean the, the adjustment Ooh, so you can see right now it's right. actually in word picker coffee So you can see it's just a simple short clip that's less than 15 seconds it can just show you how i actually make my coffee so the video just now actually i recorded few, a few different separate clips and then after that I put into my uh, my smartphone and use uh, any mod any video editing app this is gonna it can combine them together very easily so that was the features <laughs> okay next i want to show is actually the product showcase setting so as you can see right now the camera actually checking my eyeball very well as assuming i want to show these devices here so one one of the challenges last time is that with this kind of camera it, as if you, if there's a face in the front uh it will always prioritize the face first but even though there's a something in front you can see it's still tracking my my face <laughs> all the time or even my eyeball you can see because this camera can track eyeball very well so it doesn't focus the stuff in the front so that was the challenge last time when uh, people want to do their own sharing when they record video and the camera keep focusing on the face i want you focus on something like this even small item like this see it is it doesn't focus on the item it's just go to my face and it doesn't go to my face okay you can see uh, sorry doesn't go to the item that i want to focus but it go to my eyeball so uh that was the challenge last time so that's why this camera like i said is made for casual video uh, sorry casual 
video uh, people who want to take video and in a very easy way you can do your own casual video clips so what happened is as soon as I press the right now because I was using the defocus button right now I just uh, turn on the product showcase setting which is right here okay so right now it's on you can see the product says showcase on okay what happened is when you turn on a product showcase setting it suggests you to actually put on a tripod so I, I mean I already put it here I mean something stationary I just leave, leave it there because actually you will turn off the stabilizations uh, for now but it will focus on everything on the uh, the subject in the front so if I pop some anything in the front it will focus on the subject see it focus on the on the on the small item right there this I mean this thing here or you can focus on this part here this is uh, let's say some of the makeup stuff from my <laughs> girlfriend here so you can see this is a small item okay even though I want to introduce my friend for you and it will go uh, let's say I bring up the phone okay you can see right there oh sorry actually I forgot I need to turn off one thing uh, because right now I have this this part right here yeah it's on okay never mind yeah so you focus on yeah focus on that okay so you focus okay try one more time and you focus okay so you can see my still focus and my face coming up still going my face still going my face okay <laughs> so for that okay then I want to introduce you my friend right here this is my friend right there okay you can see Naruto yeah so you can see echo my face appear but you still prioritize the stuff into the front you can see what it means by like that okay then next to it is this one I have another friend the sand guy you know one of the Naruto here same thing so something appear in the front you focus on it and my um, even though my face is appear into the camera but it doesn't track like before so as soon as if I switch back to the normal mode if I switch back to normal mode okay so for us okay it's off okay then you can see the camera keep prioritize my my eyeball it doesn't care about my friend in there so he's gonna be a sad guy so even even Naruto come in you can see there's a Naruto coming in uh, it's gonna be a sad guy they don't they don't they are not in focus so this is what happened that uh, the camera usually prioritize the face first because usually when we use the camera we take person like portrait most of the time okay so let me just switch on the product showcase setting again okay so when they turn on like I said before when you turn on product showcase setting it will turn off the stabilization and also digital stabilization so it gives you the bigger view of view uh, just now the crop is due to the digital stabilization yeah something like that so you can see right now my Roto is back yeah so now he's still focusing on these two guys happy yeah okay so my I'm still in the face in the front but the camera forget about me anymore just focus whatever is in the front so it's very fast and instantaneous you can see very fast and instantaneous okay just go like that okay yeah yeah this girl is going to be happy <laughs> okay that's that's the product showcase setting you can see it's a very instantaneous very fast and then you can just bring your makeup again and just focus on the makeup okay so simple as that and then thanks to the one point aperture on the lens she still give you a very nice background separation of the this one yeah so you can see you can get quite close you can see you get really close okay so this is the maximum so uh, every lenses has their own minimum distance when you start to focus so if you do get too close if you see start to get blurry because you are getting to the margin of uh, too close to the camera so you need to just go backwards uh, yeah something like this is the maximum uh, it can bring up to uh to the camera so let's say this this item maybe six seven cm i think six seven cm so you can see it can really fill up the frame and it gives you very nice uh i wouldn't say it's like a macro but it's like a very nice close-up performance that you can actually see how close is it yeah so if i bring up my naruto right here naruto hi naruto okay i'm just gonna bring up very close okay so yeah you can see very close and i can see i have a kakashi sensei right here kakashi <laughs> actually i found these two friends today and I'm just gonna buy it just to do some testing right here you can see this everything here is live demonstration and you can see it works 99% oh anyway like most of the time okay it tracks most of the time and it just keep tracking no problem so again all these features is right there for you it's very easy again you can see right now I'm using auto in the camera and just set the product showcase setting and you let the camera do the job so assuming that if I do start recording so when you start recording you can see the record button comes up and again hey I have this Kakashi Sensei and also Naruto right there. So it goes to these two, these two guys. And you want to make some story about these two guys? I'm sure everyone has some toys at home. You can make some story. So again, this is the product showcasing. And then yeah, this one gonna be good friends. And because it's a master here and it's a student and they want to learn some kung fu, uh, not kung fu, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's the product showcase setting. And uh, let me just stop the recording for now. Okay. And it's gonna bring back up to my main camera right there. And I'll please still going. I think it's already turned off. <laughs> okay.
get in there just spare me yeah spec okay so this is my main <laughs> camera right here uh, and then yeah with the with so that's why making taking video is actually much much easier with this Zach V1 and you can just now you see all the uh, details everything is straight from the devices without doing additional pro uh, processing so what you see there is actually live from the camera so uh, then I'm just gonna bring out again yeah so you can do vertical shooting so especially people want to do Instagram story Facebook live you know sometimes they want to be a vertical so if this is a very good handy handy features so next actually I want to show you in terms of smartphone okay uh, let's say I have a smartphone right here okay I bought about one and a half years ago so uh, it's not not like very old not very old it has a very good uh, in terms of the processing you know uh, software lenses and all this and that so it's gonna bring up a, a comparison between a ZV-1 I'm just gonna I'm, because I'm holding it side by side with two camera and just go around in uh, around my apartment at the bottom there just to show you uh, right, anyway just to show you the image comparison it just plays and change the image comparison and also the sound quality sounds like uh, this is what I'm going to test between these two cameras okay oh, speaking of the sound later I'll actually show you with the mouse and without the mouse actually it's called windscreen but yeah <laughs> so I'm just going to bring up the video right now uh, with the smartphone uh, yeah right here okay so you can see how the picture quality side by side comparison everything here is straight from camera without additional adjustment from the camera just straight from camera auto okay uh, right there okay everyone this is Han here okay so did, right now I'm actually doing a comparison test as I'm walking along you can see how well the stabilization is going compared to a smartphone and right side is actually the brand new Zek V1 on my right side and the left hand side is actually the uh, smartphone you can see how is the picture quality looks like okay I'm still going still going and this is actually I'm going from a bright place to a uh, like a darker place because this is in the shade so the brightness might change so I'll just do a fair comparison side by side and I'll walk around okay if I turn around see how the lighting goes how it goes how fair the lighting goes okay same I'll walk back again I'll walk back again and again with the Z1 it has the eye autofocus tracking on the uh, on my face and my blur background will be looks a bit blur thanks to that one point aperture and I can see on my smartphone is quite clear quite clear the, the, the picture because this is a smaller sensor it doesn't give you the bokeh effect that's nice and this is a naturally created by the lens and sensor combination not software simulated on some of the newer phone I guess the comparison here right here okay so right now on the left hand side I'm using my smartphone with a 4k video recording right now on my right hand side is the ZV-1 so I'm just going to show you how well is it to both in terms of the stabilization handheld and also the look of it okay and uh, yeah so you can see how well it's actually looking so I can see the camera is checking my eyeball good good so I'm handhelding doing side by side comparison okay so to show you how good the new stabilization on the ZV-1 uh, yeah so you can it's nice so it's a uh, I'm still going around, going around, okay. <laughs> so right now I'm just shooting everything in a natural color without any additional uh, color profile in the in the camera. Just just as natural as it's be come up from the straight from the camera. So this is just doing some tests right here. Yeah. I can see the camera tracking my eyeball all the time with the ZV-1 and because I'm using the back of the camera of the smartphone so I can't really see what it's actually seeing but I'm just doing some recording just to do some fair comparison again uh, left hand side is my smartphone and right hand side is the ZV-1 okay okay so th that was the comparison between a smartphone and, uh, and also ZV-1 right here so as soon as you can see the picture quality straight out of camera from these devices is awesome because it's you don't really need to do any adjustment anymore because the straight out of camera the the video quality picture quality and then you can see and also uh, the sound actually quite decent you can hear a bit more spectrum around the sound you can hear more of the front and back yeah due to the design of this uh, microphone right there has this three capsule on the top so it captures sound around it yeah so it's actually very helpful for uh, yeah like the you know get more detail of the background that's what I find personally so again with this main screen here it's actually okay back to this wing screen all right back to this sound quality here so actually this is the first camera to have this kind of windscreen in uh, like a compact camera with uh, I mean uh, usually camera they don't 
come with this, this kind of stuff usually. They usually, okay, they do have mic into the camera, but they just don't come with this thing. Usually this thing is only come with, uh, if you buy a separate microphone with a dedicated microphone, with a, if this thing comes together with a microphone. So what it does is that this thing, so let's see, it right here, looks like very hairy there. It's actually to uh, reduce the wind noise. So it happened that if you do go out to any place late next time, if there's a windy situation, or let's say going to the beach, beach usually is very windy. So the sound that goes, because the sound will go around everywhere, and where it will attack at an angle, and when you attack at an angle, it will, that's why you have the sound. So next, I'm going to show you with this and without this, and that, that's a very, very neat feature that Sony packs into this all in together to give you a very nice sound quality. So uh, next, I'm just going to bring up this, uh, this part right there. Uh, just bear with me. Okay, so this is a sound comparison in terms of with and without. Again, I was handhelding. Uh, I think it was with the grip and I'm not using any stabilization. So I'm just going to show you how I mean, how intense or how bad it can get without stabilization just in case. But again, this one is actually having a very nice lightweight features okay so it's not too heavy okay let me just gonna bring up the video right now actually there's a bit of wind here you can see everything blowing you can see the tree is moving right there a bit of there's a bit of uh, wind coming so i'm just gonna do some sound testing just based on zb1 alone right now it's actually with the mouse on top if i remove it okay if i remove it so this is the mouse right there you can see okay because i it's still tracking my face. <laughs> it's tracking my face. Right, so usually we do like this, okay? So that it will focus on the uh, on the item front. Okay, that one is for, uh, yeah, what happened. But this one has a brush okay setting. I'll demonstrate later. But right now, you can see how the sound quality is outside. This is right now is without this, this thing. And this one actually comes together in the camera. Usually, if you buy a mic, all these things have to, uh, they are comes with the mic separately. They don't come with the camera. Uh, itself usually as a, I mean, yeah, as far as I know, usually camera, video, they don't really come with this thing. So this is actually quite a neat feature that you can put on top and it actually helps you to reduce the wind noise. So how's the sound quality sounds like? Maybe you can make the judge. Okay, let me just put it back for now for the, so you can hear the sound differences compared to, okay, compare again. So right now without, uh, sorry, with the mouse thing on the top, I don't even know what's the name actually. Just put it on top there so you can hear the sound a bit different. Because right now, okay, so there's a lot of wind going on and the tree is moving, stuff like that, tree is moving. Uh, it's not too windy, it's not too windy, it's, it's, it's okay, but there's a bit of wind, so I can feel like the rain is coming actually. So yeah, how does it look like? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you can see how the sound quality with and without is, is very, very helpful. So luckily it was, uh, I think it was getting close to rain here, so I can actually get some wind going up to test this uh, with, with and without. So the rain, uh, after that, okay, so we cover the sound, there's the product showcase setting and the bokeh button, okay. Uh, then next is, you can actually uh, see the difference, okay, let's say, uh, oh yeah, one thing. This, uh, some, actually, actually uh, yesterday someone asked you about uh, the battery life. So if you want to find out uh, about the battery life on every Sony camera they actually made, so you can actually go to this particular, uh, I mean, this page here, right there, if you go in. So uh, on the Sony Malaysia website, you can go in there, right there. Any camera, if you're interested, you can actually go inside. Under the specification section, where, okay, usually at the top, is if, if, you, if you type the name, you know, ZV1, you type, once you go inside here, at, a, at the bottom, you will find what you call is uh, right there. Yeah, it's a full specification. Click on it, you'll come to this page. It's a specification page. So same thing, you start from the top, and then come down, uh, and then you see one section called the power, the power section. So actually, it says that, Battery life, if you say, if you're take, taking some photo, it's maximum is up to 260, according to a CPA rating, CIPA, you can see the CPA rating. And then also, uh, you can see the video. Uh, maybe battery life, if you do movies, actual recording. Actual recording means if you do, uh, t you know, something you pause, something you play back, something you also stop the recording, play, uh, play uh, record again, or you some, take some photo. So maybe the maximum time can take about 45 minutes for one battery. Okay, so everything here you see here is all one battery. And then next is a battery life in movies continuous. So max, maximum Sony tester is up to 75 minutes. Again, all these uh, numbers and figures here is all depending on your current situation of your room temperature, you know, the nature of your environment, and also your battery life, and also the, uh, the whether the camera is actually already, too, already warm before. So a lot of factors go into the play part. 
I I achieved for myself inside my room, I mean my, my house here, I tested, I can shoot 4K continuously in 4K up to about 45 minutes continuously. So it wasn't, uh, yeah, the camera actually switched off uh, after that. They say uh, temperature too high and then you need to cool, let it cool down by itself, something like that. But one thing is, if you want to record longer, uh, because I actually turn on one setting in the camera menu setting is to, uh, is to uh, well, it's the auto power set to high. Okay, let me just quickly show you. So if you, if you have already have a Sony camera itself, and sometimes you want to do a longer recording, uh, then you can do that. But also, depending on whether the camera has the features to record more than 30 minutes, because in the, in the older time, uh, the older camera, uh, they don't really have the 30 minutes. Uh, so they only can record up to 30 minutes last time. So uh, yeah, that was a case before. But right now, most of the newer camera can record longer. So but depending on the battery, you know, memory card. So now I'll just walk up to the camera. So right there, just go to the second screen. And then I'll go back to myself again, so you can see right there. No problem. As soon as I press the menu, okay. So you just go to the setting section. There's a setting section. Go inside there. You can see there's a one button called uh, auto power off temperature. I set to high. So if you set to high, it can record much longer. But if you set to standard, I think the camera just to be safe. It can only record five minutes. All right. So it's only you set to high. You want to record longer. Again, everything here is up to your personal situation. Okay. So let me just bring back the view for now. <laughs> Okay, so I check to myself. Yeah, hi. Okay, so uh, next is actually if you uh, oh, this one is just now. Like you, you, do you notice that my face is always in a good, well lit uh, face brightness because the camera improved the algorithm in software, and uh, they they have really good uh, it like a okay. Let me just go back to the page okay for now. Okay, right there. So is right here. Yeah, so basically it's a beautiful and natural skin tones for everyone because they, they have an improved software algorithm inside the camera to help you to have a very nice skin tone regardless of different ethnicity. So j makes all skin color looks bright, burn, natural and healthy. <laughs> yeah, so there's also additional soft skin effect. So this is where I'm going to show you next because the camera actually can take uh, makes your skin look a bit smoother in 4K video if you want to. But I recommend that uh, I think most of us usually we just uh, share full HD that's enough because usually our social media platform will allow us, us to upload 4K anyway. So especially like WhatsApp or uh, uh, even like Facebook. Because sometimes they actually do compression. So it can actually just record in full HD will be more than enough. Okay, but just gonna show you the next video right here is to show you how my skin looks if I turn on the setting differently. Okay, so it's just gonna bring up like this one here and then with the soft skin effect. Okay, and right there. Okay, next is, this, this is a testing in terms of skin smoothing in video. Actually, this is our first time to have skin smoothing in video. Right now, I actually turned off, nothing happened. Okay, and recorded in 4K right now. I can see, actually recorded with the right eye tracking, it's the same thing. All right, uh, with the mouse on, same thing. But just that now, it's just to test the skin smoothing. Right now, it's turned off. So I will show you another video with the low, mid, and high. So you can see how well the skin moving on my skin. All right, okay, next. The skin moving set to low for now. How well is my skin right now? Is it smoother, prettier, nicer? You make the judge, okay? I don't know. <laughs> this is actually our first time to have these features in video. So actually, and also in 4K. So, okay, next I'm gonna do in the medium so you can see the quality. This is, uh, I mean, the skin smoothing test. Right now, I switch, switch to medium. So as you can see, is my skin smoother now? Looks more prettier and more handsome, slightly. I don't know, you can make the judge. Right now, I set my uh, skin beauty, uh, skin beauty, <laughs> the smooth skin, set to the highest. So you can see my skin is smoother, nicer, maybe, yeah? So it's, you make the judge. So the, right now, the setting set to high. So for the skin, smooth, okay? So that's, it's there for you. You can have a cho choice of low, uh, sorry, no, no skin smoothing, low, mid, and high. So this right apparently is the highest. Maybe my skin looks more smoother, younger now. <laughs> okay, spare to you. Okay, so this is a high setting. Thank you for... Oh, okay, so turn on sound again. Alright, so you can see just now in the video, the my skin looks bright, vibrant, okay? And, uh, and one more thing is that, do you notice actually when I shoot, it's actually I shoot against the, not sun, but it's actually cloudy at the background. So there's, my background, I mean my sky is actually brighter. Because the camera actually can uh, really focus on the face brightness and make sure it's uh, bright all the time. So this is one of the cool new features on this ZV-1. Basically, 
everything automatic and makes it easy for everyone. That's why if you're looking for an upgrade from your smartphone, this is a very, very good option to really explore uh, in terms of the, uh, what I say, the casual video clips that you want to share from everyone. And also, if you like to take photos, this one is a okay, very capable photo camera as well. Okay, I do want to apologize one thing. I do notice that the sound might be a bit higher uh, in when I play back the video because I think when I encode the video before, I was, I forgot to tone down the sound a bit. Yeah, so that was the sound they felt by the camera. So uh, sometimes if you, um, for me, I like to tone down a bit, but that's just for my preference. But the camera actually record, uh, that's why you hear everything is there, it's all free from the camera without doing any adjustment. Uh, so it's actually very bright and clear and not, nothing is like, not like a, like a over, but it's just that quite, quite a, bit, a bit louder sound. So I may, maybe when I switch to video scene, I'm like, oh, I need to tune down my volume. Okay, that's, that's just for it. Okay, so just like I mentioned before, the, 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 background, the background is brighter. So next I want to show you a video where, because I actually shift in and shift out, and to show, just want to see how fast it focus one thing. And second thing is how the camera pick up my feet, uh, my face and also the brightness. So it's everything like a, a smooth and instantaneous transition. So that's what this camera capable for. Okay, so next I'm going to show you that video right there and with the improved auto exposure, that's what we call it. Yeah. Is right here. Okay, how's my skin brightness, skin brightness? Everything good so far? Okay, let me move out again. Okay, so you go back to the building. Okay, come back to me. And then go back to the building. And come back to me. How fast the focusing? Okay, because I can see there's eye tracking going on. Go back to the building again. Okay. And also, yeah. So the brightness is automated adjusted because right now behind me is the I mean sky. It will be usually I'm in the shadow right now because of the camera can will focus on face brightness so well. So you can always make sure my face is well lit. And then the back is the sky. So you see that now the building disappear. Let me move out again. You go back to the building and make sure you can see the building. And right back back to me again. Okay, my picture, my face in brightness. So this is the one of the cool new features with this Z-E1 right here. Hmm. Okay, let me do more testing. Oops, and go back there. And another thing is that the brightness, you always, you always prioritize the face brightness all the time. Although some of the cameras, Sony camera already have the face priority in multimetering, but this one I find is even better. So let me just show you some demonstration. As I turn around, you can see how the light goes on my face, but it always makes sure the brightness on my face is well lit. You can see if I go around, go around, so you still make sure that my face is still well lit. Yeah. How cool is it? <laughs> Turn back on my sound, okay, it's good. So you can see how the camera keep my face well lit uh, regarding of how I move in and move out and all this crazy stuff. So just usually what happens is when the camera knows that it's the uh, auto, I mean usually people let's say it's the auto and or the multimetering, as soon as it goes to the background, uh, because there's a big brightness and dark darkness like a differences sometimes and then the camera try to uh, focus on the bright part and then it might be become very uh, dark in the video of my ways. So this camera again like I say it has a very good uh, consistent performance in terms of make sure my face is always in brightness. So the automate auto automation everything in the camera is amazing. <laughs> okay so uh, that was about the AE transition and the improved AE transition and then the skin smoothie if you want to do in video no problem. Okay uh, another tips I want to share is uh, this camera actually record in proxy as well. So what is proxy is uh, you can have a higher quality 4K file or, or you want to have a higher quality full HD file which is 1080p and also proxy also record another smaller file which is in 720p. Because the reason is that uh, if you want to transfer to your phone, when you transfer a 4K file to your camera, uh, your smartphone is going to be take ages because it's going to be a huge file like one minute, like 200, 200 megabyte huge file okay so not recommended maybe huge file is for your computer ah that's better but you can use the 70p the proxy file for your smartphone because at the end of the day thanks to a bigger sensor in this body which is about double the size or maybe even triple the size of what smartphone sensor is then the image quality is still much better even though it's a 70p and it's better than the, what smartphone can offer because again this one has a very nice lens and sensor combination to create a video effect so okay without further ado let me go into the uh the I main camera for now show you what is proxy so you can very easily turn on and uh, allow you to record uh a smaller file into the memory card so it actually helps you to transfer to your smartphone for video much easier so let me just bring up my my signal here it could go into my signal right there 
Okay, I think it's seeing coming up. Okay, so same thing. Okay, let's say I have this Naruto here, my friend. Yeah. So again, you can see it focus very fast. Okay. So I, I mean, right now it's in auto. Again, you can also do the. Uh, okay, never mind. I'll, I'll skip the important part. <laughs> so okay, usually in camera menu, in camera menu, Sony camera menu, very easily. Number one is usually refer to photo. But right now we're more talking about videos. Let's go to the second second part. The second part is mostly usually about video, but also there's an additional setting you can set to do special uh, different different things. But right now, what I want to look at is this pattern here called proxy. So this proxy, you can, you can see I turn on it. This proxy, like I say, is record a smaller file, which is a very high res as well, but it's a 720p file to allow you to have this file easily transfer to your smartphone. So later on, after when I do all this demonstration, okay, I will, uh, okay, let me just go back to view for now. <laughs> yeah, this one right there. So you can simply just turn on. Let me just go back to my camera. Okay, yeah. So whenever you record a video, it will have these two files into the memory card. So your smaller file is easier for your smartphone, not heavy on your smartphone. Especially if you buy a smartphone and there has, there's no extended uh, storage on the smartphone is only can limit to let's say 64 GB or 128 GB. Imagine you have you have taken a lot of photo and video as well. Video even takes more, much more spaces. So the proxy file is very handy, handy features. So strongly recommended. Okay, but I'll do the the, the Wi-Fi transfer thing at the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring up my uh, browser right here. Oops. <laughs> okay, I've been doing for 45 minutes. But uh, thank, thanks again uh, that you actually stay in tune for this video and looking at all my presentation right here. So before I actually go to the, the next part, I want to really uh, go through this part again, uh, which is, uh, oops, actually right there. Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, I just need to go through to, uh, okay, oops, go back to my page again. All right, so again, so if you if you do want interested to try this camera, you can actually try out this camera. If you're in KL, go to the Sony store, the Curve, next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, to try out this camera right there, okay? But what I want to, want to say is that, you, oh, Naruto, sorry, ah. Uh, okay, just put Google for now. Uh, oh, actually, no Google. I mean, Google already. <laughs> uh, Lazada, just go to Lazada store, okay? Again, we have this pre-order session. I mean, you can do pre-order this camera uh, from us. Uh, we have a direct store from Lazada. It's a Sony Malaysia flagship store. All you do it once you go into Lazada, okay, you go to Lazada Mall. Yes, I'm in Lazada Mall, okay, right there. Then after that, you click on the uh, search button, you just type Sony, the very first word Sony. Then you, get, you see the flagship store. That's actually from us, our directly from us. So uh, you can uh, purchase from us, pre order from us, and ship to your door directly. So you can see right there. Of course, there's also other goodies you can actually have a look as well. So this is our Sony Malaysia flagship store on Lazada, all right? Okay, so back to me again. <laughs> Enough of the uh, there was a promotion. I mean uh, promotion material. <laughs> okay, next is the okay. The let me go back to this part right there. Uh, oh yeah, just now you actually did see that the camera auto it focus on the face and uh, eye priority. But as soon as you see some either other item as non-human, the camera also knows the subject very well, and you track to the thing instantaneously so next i'm going to show you like a real-time autofocus auto video but at the same time you can see how well it transitioned from myself to the background stuff like that so i'm just going to bring up the video right here with the yeah because i'm <laughs> doing all this manually adjustment right here so you can see okay it's coming up actually right here to show you because the camera actually hooked up to the external recorder allows you to see what the camera is seeing right now and at the same time the camera also doing the recording so you can see right there this is the actual re actual recorder so you actually record what the camera see right there that's why you can see how the eye tracking on my face you can see it track on my, sorry it track on my eyeball all the time so if i go closer go closer it still tracks still quite well you can go very close yeah, you can go very <laughs> close. Okay, so like that, and then if I go, see this is focus, and then if I go to the background, it focus to the background, and come up to me instantaneously, instantaneously, and go back to the background, and it focus to me. Yeah, this is how fast the real-time idle focus in this exact moment. I find it's even faster, and... Okay, come to me again. <laughs> So that was the autofocus. You can see how fast it tracked my eyeball from, uh, like I say, even for background to back to me, background to me. It's, it's, everything is instantaneous, very easy and handy. So uh, I actually do forgot one thing. <laughs> okay, I saw this. So actually, if you do want to do some uh, vertical recording, vertical, uh, let's say, let me turn on for now. 
I mean, if you want to, want to do re take a recording, sometimes because if actually people want to do uh, video uh, looking at it like this, because they, that's how you can see. So the, nat the most natural mov uh, movement I can suggest to you is actually hold like this way. You hold like this way with the mouse here, to, you can see that there's a bit of grip here. But on top, because there's an actual, on top there's an actual record button, you just press, you just put your arm there. So you can just press like that, and then you just press record. So you can see it's actually recording, there's a lamp right there, and then you can see recording. So this is how you do your vertical recording, and you can just look to your camera, yeah, how are you, how are you doing, you know, all this and that. Maybe you want to send a wish to your parents, just do like that, and then in 15 seconds or, uh, yeah, something like that, don't do too long. Just a short video clip is enough, but just to, uh, it's enough to share your, uh, how to say, because you don't want to be too long and draggy sometimes, but okay, that, yeah, like, a, like a short clip and meaningful is very nice. So once you've done it, very easily, Okay, so last but not least, I'm just going to do send this video to my smartphone. I'm just going to press this stop for now. Okay, and okay, I'll show you how you, you can easily Wi-Fi transfer. All you need to do is, you can see, oh, I think I can, let me see if I can do a better way. Oh, I can do like this. Ah, yeah, this is actually a good way because I can see the, the button for my side here to actually touch, sorry, to press on the setting, you can see. that you can see this angle here. That's how you're actually seeing right now. But I think the camera actually picks up the, the lens right there. That's how you can see this part is in uh, focus. Uh, because right now the camera prioritizes whatever is closest to it. That's why it has this. Then I try to be focused. Okay, so in order to do Wi-Fi transfer very easily, uh, okay, for, for camera point of view, basically you just need to go to play, Play means as a button on the on the on the back there. Okay, with the play button, you just press on the play button, and then you go into this view here. So you can see. Let's say you want this clip. So by pressing the FN button, you can see there's an FN button right there. FN, press it, and it will ask you to whether you want to transfer which images. Okay, press it, and you can say it's a this image or all the, up to this date or everything else or multiple images. It's up to you. you. Let's say I want I want this only to do to transfer. Okay, press again. Okay, so you will set up the Wi-Fi standby everything, and with the, you can see right now there's a QR code on the top right corner there. Okay, so there's a QR code. So all you need to do is, uh, of course, on the phone itself, you need to download one app called Imaging Edge Mobile. Uh, currently, because already installed, but I'm just going to show you what it is on the website right there, and then I'm just going to bring up uh, my website. <laughs> yeah. So all you do is, you just go to uh, your Apple Store or Google Store, download this Imaging Edge Mobile. It's actually the only software, I mean, for Sony, so Sony camera to transfer stuff from uh, camera to smartphone. They're using this one, the Imaging Edge Mobile. So uh, just download this one to your phone and accept the terms and condition. Okay, okay. They'll ask you some whether, like, question of, like, whether you're using for photography or videography or what sort of genre. Just say, uh, just take the one that you think is good. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, done. Then back to here. So now you can do the transfer. So again, you can see right now. Okay, let me go back to my <laughs> view again. So uh, you can see how the camera is still seeing all myself right there. Okay, so with the with the QR code. Okay. So what you do is uh, use use your camera. Turn on your camera. Uh, sorry, your phone. Your phone. No camera. Phone. Okay. Go into the. You can see there's a right there. Okay, my phone is right there. Or oh, maybe you cannot focus well. Uh, yeah, you can see there's a two apps right there. So uh, mainly is the Imaging Edge mobile. That's why you open it right there. So you open like this. This is the Imaging mobile. Okay, once you have this, and then you press on the connect with new camera. Maybe you can see there's a there's a the, this part here. There's a connect with new camera. Camera, press it, and it'll ask you for scan for QR code. You can see this is the easiest way. It uh, works against for any devices. All right, just press scan or QR code. You can also use NFC, but if your phone doesn't have NFC, you can use this, this button. So what happens right now, you scan for QR code. So all you need to do is, if I can, uh, I'm trying to align these two together. <laughs> A bit challenge right there. Uh, okay, so the camera, see? The phone knows that the QR code, it picks up the information and you press OK. Okay, so it will start pairing. It will start the pairing until it says, uh, see? Okay, there's uh, information right there at the bottom, just say connect. So once you connect, Okay, so right now I think it's transferring in 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 some way. Okay, okay, it's connecting at the moment. Connecting at the moment, still connecting, because it uh, depending on how bad your situation in your in your house or maybe in other places with a lot of Wi-Fi congestions. If you have a lot of Wi-Fi at home, maybe it's a bit slower. Just press OK for now. This is just information. You can see how it transfer right now. Yeah. Okay, so it's transferring. So I think I recorded. Uh, yeah, this is actually a proxy file. So at the bottom there, maybe you cannot see. It's actually you see a PX information at the bottom, right at the bottom. So if you can see right there, actually right at the bottom there. It, oh, sorry, it's already done. Never mind. This is a smaller file. So you can see how instantaneous the speed that transfer from your smart um, from camera to a smartphone. That's how you do it. So uh, like I said before, I suggest you use a proxy file. 
And also, if you shoot Full HD, you have a proxy file. Full HD is good for, for your computer to have a, or you play on TV next time. But this one, smaller file, is very good for smartphone. And the picture quality also good enough. So let's say if I can play back the video just now. Yeah, I did. OK, let me just quickly play it. So you can see it's actually recording. There's a lamp right there. And then you can see recording. So this is how you do your vertical recording. And you can just look to your So you can see right there. How are you? How are you doing? You know, all this and that. <laughs> Maybe you want to send a wish to your parents. Just do like that. And then in 15 seconds, or uh, yeah, sorry, don't do too long. Just a short video clip is enough. But just to, like, <laughs> it's enough to share. So like I said before, the camera, uh, sorry, camera, the camera record the metadata that knows that it's actually a vertical position. So my phone support this information, so it will play back in vertical. So if you notice that your phone doesn't play back, it's actually not the camera fault. It's just that your phone doesn't have the support to uh, to capture, uh, to read the data metadata of the vertical, because this one actually store gyroscope data. So one of the cool thing there. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, yeah, so this is the easy Wi-Fi transfer and then go to your phone and then easily you can do the editing if you want, like I, like I, like I showed before in the start, and there's a small clip-ish right there. And after that, if you do interested for some, some photography and you'll take some photo, especially you want to take photo of your, my, you know, my famous Naruto, let's say you just go back to my Naruto again, or maybe Kakashi also can. Uh, let me just go back. Okay, just pop up my HDMI for now. That's why you can see how is the view from your side. Okay, easily. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to put down my camera for now and I'm just going to switch to another source so you can see my Naruto and the best friend, uh, the Kakashi Sensei. Okay, so you can see two of them right there. So the camera is already focused, but right now because it's in video, let me switch back to photo for now. Like I said, for a starter, very easily, just go to mode, okay, and you just go to the video, this one, uh, sorry, this is photo. You see the camera, the green color is a photo, and then that's the video, all right? That's just a very easy, set, simple setting for you to start. Of course, if you're a bit more savvy and you're more photography oriented, you can always go to your PASM. So those are more at once, and you can really control yourself, all this and that. But again, for a starter, I can can just go to iAuto for now. That's why I'm here today to do the demonstration. Right here, go inside, and the camera knows that it's a uh, yeah. There's uh, some object <laughs> right there. Okay. So again, uh, with the bokeh the button. Okay. So you can see it's defocus. You can see the clear again. So you have the background clear. You can see. Okay. Go closer again. Focus. Uh, defocus and clear. So everything is pressing the button. You like it? Okay. Pressing the button. Okay. You like it? Okay. Just take a photo. Yay. Oops, so I put a timer. So, <laughs> so you take a photo. Again, if you want to have a clear background, just press again, you have a clear background. So I press again, you take a photo. Nice, okay, so you have this nice, clear, sharp pictures. Again, if you want to see the, the high quality picture they just taken, everything is just straight from the camera. You can see how pretty your Kakashi Shensei and the Naruto. Yes, okay, so that's the, that's the view from these two right here. Okay, let me just go back to myself. Yeah. So I hope that uh, this, oops, actually, uh, oh, I forgot, I need to switch back to my view. <laughs> back to this camera right here, this camera right here. Okay, all right. Okay, so you can actually see how easily take nice artistic pictures straight from a camera. I mean, it's all physical and also physics, uh, camera lens combination to create this kind of effect without any software algorithm in it to do the processing because uh, uh, smartphone usually they have a smaller sensor and then that's why they need to do a lot more computation power to create the picture field and sometimes they might have this additional artifact all this and that so the trail camera from this thing is like a beast it's a very uh, beasty and it's, it has all the function and bell and whistle and yeah another thing is that this one also do touch screen so let's say I go, let's say I go back to uh, I can do photo for now I think you can see from oops uh, I think it's slightly too bright I need to go down my brightness yeah uh, let me switch to another mode so I can show you what it means by, by because actually I'm right now in uh, okay just switch to this one for now so at least you can see on the because the camera is actually stationary on the certain brightness so <laughs> if I okay so now you can see the screen uh, I can see the screen right I think I already turned on my touch screen yeah turn on already so right now if I press on myself press on myself okay so you can see oops I uh, can see how the camera now focuses at the back. So if I press myself, sorry, I'm just trying to do this part again. Okay, so you have a touch screen. So this touch screen allows you to track certain subject, something like that. So I, I can't really do two hand right here. I'm in trouble. <laughs> but you get the idea. So it has this touch screen allows you to very easily do uh, your control and then snaps or take video because it has this touch tracking. So this one, it becomes again very easy. Uh, someone coming from smartphone, 
uh, it's a very seamless experience that you can create all these uh, nice video photo footages casual clips okay sharing because right now uh, I know everyone is still in uh, this CMCO period and also in it's really uh, become really emotional touch that actually uh, people surround you or people anywhere from around the world they get to see you get to uh, 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 how to say uh, it's like emotionally attached to uh, the sharing and this one is actually made it, made it very simple and easy and create very nice high quality video that it can actually kept for forever uh, of course make sure you get enough hard disk they can store all your info all your precious memory like myself i have like i think at least nine or eight nine hard disk <laughs> just to store my all my data all my all my photo and video <laughs> okay now my those are the wi-fi transfer so i think i cover most of the items that i want to discuss today and and anything else so just stay tuned for our upcoming uh you know uh, workshop online sharing everything is all right there again if you're interested to try out the camera make sure you go to Sony store the curve next weekend to try out the camera if you're in kl uh, and then also the pre-order still update on the lazada you can actually do that and it's shipped to your door something like that when it's when they arrive so it's a very cool cool stuff okay i think i cover most of it and yeah pretty much okay so thank you thanks for your patience for watching this video i'm han from sony malaysia and uh, again for apologize for yesterday due to the technical issue from my camera sorry my phone and my phone blah, my computer and also the internet that is didn't go well together unfortunately so uh, yeah that's why I, I wanted to make this recap session to really go through what i actually shared from yesterday so thank you very much and i hope you enjoy it okay thank you and i'm just gonna stop this yeah